We are Agriculture One and our dilemma involves switching industrial agriculture from using harmful chemicals to using neem oil. Neem oil is a deciduous evergreen native to the Indian subcontinent. It is a vegetable oil pressed from fruits or seeds which extracts medicinal and agricultural compounds. Neem oil has been used as a herbal medicine in India for millennia. When an insect feeds on plants with neem oil, they are first turned off by the bitter taste. If that doesn't turn the bug away altogether, the neem oil stops the bug from maturing further as well as halting reproduction. Although it affects insects negatively, it is non-toxic to humans and non-target species. Neem oil is an insecticide derived from the neem tree. Our dilemma involves switching industrial agriculture from traditional pesticide use over to using neem oil. Neem oil is non-toxic toxic to humans, meaning it won't hurt the consumer, the farmer, nor any wildlife. This is a much better option than traditional pesticide use that has been linked to harming farmers' health. Our dilemma also involves finding another alternative that will feed the growing population in a healthy and sustainable way. Ultimately, traditional pesticides have the ability to cause much more harm than neem oil would. Organic agriculture involves being respectful towards the environment and creating a healthy product for the consumer. If any factor would be hurt by the decision to switch to neem oil, it would be the traditional pesticide companies. In today's world, companies are constantly being created and destroyed, so it would be nothing new to have a new corporation take over. Based on the short and long-term effects of both neem oil and traditional pesticides, neem oil proves to be the safer alternative. Neem oil, if consumed unrefined in very large quantities, may cause liver damage to a developing infant. On the other hand, short-term effects of traditional pesticides include skin irritation, eye irritation, skin sensitization, and nerve system damage. Long-term effects include birth defects, as well as chronic non-cancer and cancer effects. If diminishing this dilemma between a good and bad choice, neem oil would be the good choice while traditional pesticides would be the bad choice. Neem oil is non-toxic to non-target organisms while traditional insecticides have been linked to health problems. This issue primarily revolves around efficiency rather than legality. Neem oil's primary limitation has been its hydrophobic tendency that requires emulsification and makes its use more complicated than that of a traditional pesticide. Neem oil also faces staunch opposition from agrochemical companies who have spent millions developing a plethora of synthetic insecticides. Neem oil is derived from the neem tree. One of the oil's defenses is making the plants taste bitter, so once insects start munching, they decide they don't like the taste and move on. The next active defense are luminoids called azadiractin, which act as steroids to insects. Once the insects ingest the neem oil, their hormones are disrupted which further disrupts reproduction and the ability to mature. Although neem oil affects insects in these ways, the oil is non-toxic to all other organisms. In Canada and the UK, it is illegal to use neem oil in all other herbs that have not completed a full environmental and health evaluation. This is largely due to a single law in each respective country that requires a series of time-consuming and extremely expensive tests in order for any medicinal or agricultural chemical to be marketed. There is evidence that consumption of unrefined neem oil in sufficient quantities by an individual who is pregnant may cause liver damage to the developing infant. There doesn't appear to be a reputable organization that raises a claim against neem oil outside of the UK and Canada. While these countries' caution may be admirable, their legitimacy in regards to opposing neem safety is questionable. The whole of the scientific community has yet to find significant environmental or health concerns relating to the use of neem oil as an industrial insecticide. Our dilemma fits in with a negative feedback system because it regulates what it puts out. The neem, oil, the neem trees help take up CO2 released during the production and transportation. Traditional chemicals are not made from plants, meaning the CO2 emitted during production and transportation is not mitigated. There aren't any indications that scientific data is being presented in a biased way. Neem is recognized commercially due to its various beneficial properties which have been extensively investigated over time. Compared to conventional chemicals, which are highly toxic, neem, which is a botanical pesticide that is biodegradable and does not leave harmful residue behind. This has resulted in the 
publication of numerous scientific research articles and books, as well as the organization of international conferences to discuss the benefits of the plant. Stakeholders. There are some that are for and some that are against. The ones that are against are traditional pesticide farmers, some consumers, government, wildlife, and pesticide companies. All of these um, stakeholders that are against neem oil are skeptical about their effectiveness and are just trying to protect their business against the loss of revenue at all costs. Those who are for neem oil are neem oil farmers, some consumers, some government, wildlife, and neem oil companies. They are possibly optimistic about a better practice and well-educated about and optimistic about possible advantages to ecology, agricultural, and public health. A lot of power comes from how much money each stakeholder has. The bigger traditional pesticide companies have a lot of money, therefore having a lot of power on their side. Another factor that plays into how much power a stakeholder has is reliability and also tradition. Some farmers may be scared to switch to neem oil use instead of tradition traditional pesticides because they know that traditional pesticides work. If they have not heard someone say something good about neem oil or they have not done research on it to see how effective and non-toxic it is, then farmers are less likely to use neem oil as a replacement for traditional pesticides. Key actions involve switching from traditional use of pesticides to neem oil. The switch will in cause current farmers to become educated on neem oil and how to use it because if farmers are not educated on how well this product works and the benefits to things such as human health, then they are less likely to switch over to neem oil. Incentives will also have to show traditional, traditional farmers why neem oil is the best option. One thing that could be beneficial to get the word out would be to have a handful of farmers try out neem oil and pay them an incentive. Once a few farmers try it and like it, then they will recommend this product to their friends. Our collective ethic involves favoring nature over humans and taking all strides possible to live everyday life in favor of the environment. Neem oil will produce the most good and do the best harm, do the least harm. It doesn't violate the rights of non-target insects, consumers, and producers. The use of synthetic insecticides have led to health issues, environmental imbalance, pollution, and constant battle to outpace pest, pest resistance. The use of harmful chemicals in agricultural almost certainly is violating the rights of consumers, wildlife, ecosystems, and farmers. These organisms have not been properly educated in regard to potential dangers and are oftentimes underprotected. Neem oil represents the rights of nearly all organisms in the possible expectation of violation of non-target insects rights when neem oil is directly sprayed in a feeding or inhabitation area. The ju justice approach, approach asks the question, is this a fair distribution of benefits and burdens? Yes, because neem oil treats people equally. The use of traditional pesticides cause harm to non-target organisms, producers, and consumers. If we switch to neem oil, the harmful effects on human producers would drastically decline. But when the insects ingest the neem oil, it disrupts their hormones and their ability to mature. Although neem oil affects insects in these ways, the oil is non-toxic to virtually all other organisms. Thus, switching to neem oil is a more viable option and will diminish harmful effects. After weighing the pros and cons and doing extensive research, we found that neem oil is the best option to further explore industrial agriculture. Through all the ethical questions, it always comes down to one thing. Is neem oil the best option when considering human health and the environment? New developments that would cause a reconsideration would be a new inorganic insecticide that shows even more effective results than neem oil. The end.